Hey everybody, welcome to Yankee V8s. We're just going to be heading off now to the Morrinsville Motorama. So we're running late, so we're in a bit of a hurry, so we better get going. Catch you there. Guys, here we go. We've got Buzz Aldrin here. He's just flown back from the moon. He's one of the guys here directing the vehicles. How's your day been today, Buzz? Very hot. Very hot. Very hot. Very hot. Uh, you're looking very smooth there today. How's your day been, yeah? Oh, pretty good, thank you, mate. It's good. Yeah, no worries at all. So, have you seen any cars that really tickles your fancy? No, not yet. Nothing. No. So, what normally tickles your fancy? Just something, you know, you just see it, you know. You just see it? Those things and ah, that's like the way. Got to be done. Yep. Okay, it's good to have you here today, mate. Okay. We'll catch you later. Okay. So, yeah, what do you reckon about this evil little beast? Someone just put some time and money into it. Good effort by all. See the kids here really like it. We'll walk on around the side and see what we can find around the side of this machine. See what's under the hood. A lot of detail gone with that paintwork. Hey, that's a quick way to burn your feet. Look at that, it's got a monster in it. Now that's what you call a motor. It's an awesome day here today at the uh, Yankee Hauler's Motorama. We've got a lot of cars to look at today, guys. So bear with us and we'll start to have, have a look at a few of them. That's an interesting looking little machine we've got here. Hemi Mopar. Over there, my god, look at that. We have, we have a look here at Mark Four Cortina police car. Something you don't see on the road every day. These, these are the sort of cars they used to go to church in. Not those lawn mowers, but a Studi Baker. This car's been done by Trevor Halstead. He normally ends up going to most of the shows with this car. He's put a lot of time and effort into it. It's come up real nice. Good sized little donkey under there. And they were wandering and see what the upholstery is like. Oh, yeah, real nice looking colour. Here we have a nice little Chevy Camaro. Had a bit of a repower done to it. It's got the new Corvette motor in it. Obviously, it'll make this little baby get up and go really good. And next door, we have the Mopar family. Here we have a nice 1970 Dodge Charger. And right beside it. Little twin brother, 69. Same as the General Lee, but this had a repower as well. It's got the new Hemi motor in it. Done in black. Had a lot of detail work put into this car, as you can see. But this is the sort of stuff that turns up here at Motorama. It's good to have all this sort of nice looking cars here to all, for all of us to look at. So we'll wander on and see what else we can find here. And uh, hooked on feelings. I'm high on believing. What do you reckon, guys? <laughs> that you're in love with me. I'm hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing. 
I'm high on believing. How's that man on the drums? Did he wake up a sweat yet? Oh yeah, there we go guys. So that's our band for the day. Doing a good job here. We've got the hot drinks and food stalls. Car simulator. Nice little crowd of people. Rugged weather here today. That's spoiled. Then down through here, we've got rows and rows of cars. Good little selection. And um, yeah, we've got some like, clothes stand over here. Toss and Sizzle, this is the Yankee Hullers Club Barbecue. Quite an awesome looking little piece of machinery. It's even got a motor on it. That's for all that special cooking. And out the back, we have its Barbie. Uh, here we have one of our co-hosts, Sir Keith himself. What's he doing? He's cooking a sausage. Would you like Keith, your sausage flipped. Could you spare us for a few minutes, please? Uh, hello. Would you like your sausage flipped? No, we don't want your sausage flipped. You having a good time there, Keith? Uh, it's Frank's tears in my eyes. It's the end. Uh, he's doing a good job there. And over here, we've got the girls. They're doing their part. Doing a very good job. But... Well, your belly you haven't got any gas there, have you? No gas in my belly. Gas. It's not running hot enough. Look at this, there's a line-up of them. A whole lot of them there. They're doing very well. And over here we've got nice fresh rolls. And right over the end we'll do an interview over here. Excuse me, madam, could you spare just a few seconds to do a quick interview for us? How's your day been going so far? Good, good. And yours? Good. What are you cooking down there? Frying up an onion or two? I'm trying. Oh, good girl. You're doing a marvellous job there by the looks. So, have you got a car here today? I do. What have you got? Sorry? That one? Let's go and have a look over here. Ah. Oh, that green falcon over in the distance. Oh, yeah. Sorry, thank you. Ah, uh, there it is. And by the way, you wouldn't have anything to do with that crazy frog car down the other end there, would you? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Okay, you put much input into it? No. None? None Oh, good. Okay, then. Lovely stuff. Well, it was good to see you here today. You have fun frying the onions. Yes, I will. Good girl. So how's your sausage? Medium rare, well done. My God, hang on, get out of the, get out of the sun. You better do that again. There it is. Oh, oh look, that, that's not a nice looking sausage, that one. It's got the right look about it. Uncircumcised. Uncircumcised? Well, good stuff. What's yours? Yeah, so that's the Pontiac GTO. Uh, what we got here? Nice little blue SLR 5000 Tirana. Another car you don't see on the road a heck of a lot these days. Back in the old days with the um, Australian Muscle, Peter Brock used to race these cars back in his day. Did very well with them. It's good to see this sort of thing back on the road again. Because he fell off driving last yesterday and spent pretty much all night polishing his truck just for the day. So I really appreciate what the truck guys do to be here. This is um, obviously Juan Rowe's truck, driven by Ronsville's very own Tony Duffy, servant owner and uh, driver of this truck, so I don't think he comes in with the truck guys. There we go, that's our People's Choice uh, truck winner, folks. Let's have a round of applause for Tony. Congratulations. So, 
Beautifully done. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a few of these prizes, these ones down the end. People's Choice Track. How many, how many hours would you and yourself spend there? So we'd like to hear another round of applause, folks. We'll uh, continue to roll through. She'll head off for the photo shoot. This is the owner of uh, the, the stage behind us, apparently, as well. Then we came for a uh, I guess and uh, get a stroke early. Right. So, who's there want to hear our talk? Glenn Steel, yeah. he's the owner of this bike. Um, maybe he can tell us something about it. It's a Harley Davidson um, super bike. How many hours would it take you to clean this? A few. Yeah, I'll bet you it does. So, uh, well done for that. Mm. Beauty, good bet. Yeah, yeah, also. Another round of applause folks who provided the stage here as well, so a bit of a legend. So I think the next one is just our overall people's choice winner. So this is the one everyone's voted for. This is obviously taken out the most votes. This is the overall winner for the people's choice. Thanks very much everyone who uh, who handed in the forms and took the time to do that. Plenty of votes rolled in, I believe. So what are we looking at here, uh, Tom? Uh, I'm not quite sure which year it is, because we've only just sort of spotted the number and already found, um, found the owner. It's, uh, it's a Studi Baker. We'll bring it around, and I guess if you have gone around the show, uh, would have seen this car on display. Hey. I've uh, got the jail bar and I put a bit of time into mine, but I have got no idea how much time this would have taken to rebuild this car from what it was. You'd seen the um, uh, the pictures of it from what it was to what it is. As uh, hot rodders, you'll certainly appreciate what goes into making a car like this. Um, you can pop the bonnet and you can have, the others can have a look at it too. So, Trev Halstead, so well done. Trophies. Waiting you. Yeah, big round of applause, folks. Thanks very much for voting. It's our overall people's choice winner, which is brilliant. Now we've got um, this. Actually, we'll take it out of the box shortly. We'll take it here to the crew who have put on what I believe is an outstanding day. So next year we will be doing the same thing again, we look forward to seeing you again, uh, if you've got some car that's in the way in the garage, get it out there. We still want to have cars here even if it's not um, completely finished because there's lots of projects on the go. So um, thank you very much and I uh, hope you've enjoyed your day, safe drive home and uh, thank you for me. Beautiful, let's have a round of applause here for Todd as well folks. Man, thanks, that concludes today. Thank you very much, uh, everyone, for coming along uh, to the Morrison Motorama here this year. And obviously, we look forward to seeing you again next year. Cheers. Cheers.